Okay, roll them. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Okay, not that far back. I meant let's define what an idol is. Okay. Sure, I, I knew that. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Cut and print. If you Google the word idol, it says, an image or a representation of a god used as an object of worship. According to the Bible, I think it means anything or anyone that you love or enjoy more than God. That's deep. So what can become an idol? Seems like anything. Yeah, you can set your affection on a person, uh, a place, a game, entertainment, job, work, achievement, anything can become an idol. So basically loving the wrong way. Huh? The wrong way. Loving God above anything else is the right way. But loving anything else the way you should only love God is the wrong way. That's a great way of putting it. In Romans, it says that people worshiped creation rather than the creator, which basically means it's okay to enjoy the things that God created for us, but it's never okay to enjoy them more than we enjoy God. So Toya, to answer your question, anything can become an idol, but it's about listening to your heart and making sure you're not loving anything else above God. Yeah, and if you're sitting there thinking, oh man, I've done this, just remember that even the children of Israel struggle with this too. The Israelites were so quick to make the golden calf an idol. I forgot about that. Yeah, we've all been quick to worship other people and things, but we have to pray and ask God to help us to turn away from those idols and serve Him, the one true living God. Anything can become an idol in your life so easily, but you can set it straight by keeping Jesus first in your heart. His word is forever alive. A part of loving God more means learning more about Him, and you can learn more about Him at thesuperbookshow.com. Love, Love God, God more. more! The Israelites were so quick 